How much is too much weight gain during pregnancy? And does it matter? In this episode of Nourish, we're going to answer these questions and more. This episode is not to be missed, so stay tuned. Your ideal pregnancy weight goals depend upon your preconception weight. If you were overweight when you conceived, you actually need to gain less weight during your pregnancy. Gaining the right amount of weight during pregnancy is super important because did you know that the amount of weight you gain during pregnancy can impact whether or not your baby struggles with his or her weight? Even if you've struggled with weight all your life, Eating well and avoiding too much weight gain during pregnancy can reduce your little one's risk of going through the same struggles. And vice versa. If you've never struggled with your weight but gained too much during pregnancy, you could be programming your baby's genes to gain weight more easily. Now many of you know that I worked in a weight management clinic one day a week for over a decade. My average client in the clinic weighed 200 kilos, which is around 440 pounds. Working in this clinic was actually one of the reasons that I started specializing in fertility and pregnancy. You see, although I had plenty of clients who were overweight because they ate an unhealthy diet, I also had many clients who ate generally healthy diets but still struggled with their weight. I'm sure you know someone who gains weight as soon as they look at a slice of chocolate cake and someone else who eats rubbish all the time but never gains any weight. Well, research shows that people who struggle with their weight have different levels of appetite hormones than those who don't, which is why once you've gained it, it's so hard to lose it and keep it off. There's a famous Dr. Oz quote that states, Our genes load the gun and our environment pulls the trigger. What this means is that people who are likely to be overweight are those who have genetic predisposition for weight gain and live in an environment where there's plenty of food. Now, I'm sure you've heard people say something like, if weight gain is genetic, why are there no overweight people in POW camps? Well, the answer is that you need a combination of both genetics and environment. So which gene causes weight gain? Well, once scientists realized that weight gain had a genetic component, they looked to see which gene caused the problem. They thought that if they could just fix this little gene, it would solve the problem of obesity and they'd make a fortune. Well, unfortunately, what they discovered was that there wasn't just one gene involved in weight gain, but lots of them, all doing different jobs. For example, some cause increased hunger levels, while others cause more fat storage, and still others impact how quickly you feel full. And these genes are programmed as to how they're going to behave early on in life. It's kind of like an alarm on your phone You might have it set for 6am, but unless you actually flick the on button, it's not going to wake you on at 6am. Sorry to get so deep into the science, but I think you'll find it helpful. Then, I promise I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to help your baby avoid being programmed for obesity in a minute. There's a famous study called the Agouti Mouse Study. Now, it's very complex research, but I'm going to simplify it to get my point across. Essentially, the researchers, Dr. Waterland and Dr. Jurdle, took overweight mice and got them pregnant with overweight male mice. As you'd expect, most of the baby mice were also overweight. But in the second part of the study, they repeated the experiment, but with one key difference. They fed the pregnant mice a diet rich in nutrition and low in calories. What they found was that even though both parent mice were obese, this time their baby mice were not. 
Now, research has gone on to discover that this is true in humans as well. A nutritious diet and healthy weight gain during your pregnancy impacts your baby's genetic programming so that he or she is less likely to struggle with their weight gain. Fascinating, isn't it? And this is just one example of how what you eat during pregnancy helps to program your baby's genes to influence his future. The problem is that current stats show that one in every two women are overweight or obese before they even become pregnant. And over 50% of women gain too much weight during their pregnancy. Therefore, increasing the risk of our children spending a lifetime battling with their weight. Some people have gone so far as to say that they believe that the next generation will have a shorter lifespan than ours because of the amount of weight gain women are having during pregnancy at the moment. Unfortunately, to make things even more complicated, gaining too little weight during pregnancy can be a problem too. So just like Baby Bear in the Goldilocks story, we need to gain just the right amount. Now, having worked with thousands of women during pregnancy, I know how hard it is to eat well and achieve a healthy weight gain. Between craving nothing but hot chips due to morning sickness and overwhelming exhaustion, it's really not easy. But it's not impossible either. And I know that with the right guidance and support, you can do this. Now, I know that this is a sensitive topic and I'm not here to blame or point fingers, only to help and encourage. So please, don't worry if you've gained too much weight during pregnancy. We can't change the past, but let's focus on the future. So I wanna ask you, what can you do to make sure that you're gaining the right amount of weight during pregnancy? Well, I've got three steps for you to take. Step one, I want you to click the subscribe button so that you receive my weekly videos to help you keep motivated. Step two is I want you to type I'm in in the chat box below. Putting your commitment in writing helps you to commit to change. And then finally, step three, I want you to rate yourself from one to 10 on how well you ate last week and be honest. So now, you're all set up to help your little one avoid a lifetime of struggling with his or her weight. Have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week on Nourish. Oh, they smell so beautiful. Except I bumped my nose. <laughs>